Welcome to the Drum League at Sunday School Online. We have a great programme lined up for you for the next 15-20 minutes. Uh, our Sunday School teachers are going to lead us in uh, prayer and read the Christmas story. Then Sarah Emerson, the Scripture Union worker from Castle Derrick and Oma, is going to retell the Christmas message using two boxes of sweets. So a great message and we thank Sarah for doing that. Then the Bible class and Sunday School teachers are going to uh, share some Christmas messages with you and we have a few songs and Christmas carols uh, into the mix as well. So I want to uh, begin now and the service is going to, the programme will proceed unannounced and we're going to begin with Tilly and Jack as they lead us in an opening prayer. Then Sharon Beckett will read God's word, followed then by Sarah Emerson. So I hope you enjoy uh, the next 15, 20 minutes. The Manger Prayer. Jesus, I love the story about you being born with the animals in the manger. I am so glad that Mary and Joseph had you and that you laid under that big star for the world to know how much God loves us. I pray everybody on the whole earth can learn the story and remember that every Christmas is celebrated because of you. If I meet a new foot, Somebody, someday who don't know, know the story, help me tell it to them. How amazing it is in your name, Amen. The First Christmas Luke chapter 2, verse 7 Mary gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Have you heard the story about the first Christmas? Long ago, a lovely young lady named Mary was visited by an angel. The angel told Mary she would have a baby by the power of the Holy Spirit and name him Jesus. Mary and her husband Joseph prepared for the new baby. They had to travel a long way to Bethlehem by donkey and by foot. When they arrived, it was very crowded. Joseph and Mary were tired, but the innkeeper told them there was no room for them. Mary and Joseph found room in a stable with sheep and cows and donkeys. That very night, Jesus was born. To keep their little baby warm, Mary wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. In the fields in the distance, there were shepherds watching over their sheep. Angels appeared in the sky and told the shepherds, Jesus is born. You will find him lying in a manger. The shepherds went in haste to see the newborn king. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Stars in the bright sky Look down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay The cattle are lowing The baby So the 
Mary and Joseph weren't at home for the first Christmas. They were in Bethlehem, far away from their home in Nazareth. But while they were in Bethlehem, they had a baby. The Bible tells us, So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. So although Mary and Joseph were a long way from home, they were still a very important part of God's amazing plan. Hello, boys and girls. It's Sarah from Scripture Union here. Are you ready for Christmas? Have you got your Christmas tree up and your decorations out? Have you written your Christmas letter? Have you wrapped your Christmas presents? Has the Christmas cake been made yet? I love Christmas. And you know, one of my favorite things about Christmas is the Christmas food and especially the Christmas chocolate. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in church with you this morning, so I can't share the chocolate with you. But I think that these Christmas chocolates might be able to teach us something about Jesus. So let's see. Let's start with the two biggest boxes. So we've got a box of roses and a box of heroes. Now, roses are a way to show love to other people. Yes, maybe the chocolate ones, but usually flowers like roses are given to people to show how much someone loves them. And a hero is someone who comes to rescue you whenever you need saved. This makes me think of a verse from the Bible. There's a verse in the book of First John chapter 4 verses 9 and 10 and it says this. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. This verse tells us how much God loved us. He didn't send us a nice bunch of roses or even a box of roses chocolates, but he sent his son Jesus to show us how much he loved us because Jesus came because he had a special job to do, a job that makes him our hero. Because Jesus, when he grew up, he went to the cross and on that cross, he died to take the punishment for our sin. And when he did that, he saved us. He saved us from the punishment of our sin. If you choose to follow Jesus and live your life following him, you can go to heaven to be with God forever. And the reason that can happen is because God showed us how much he loved us by sending his son to die on the cross as our hero to take the punishment and save us from our sin. So we've learned something from the box of heroes and the box of roses, but I wonder what we can learn from the Terry's chocolate orange. Well, the Terry's chocolate orange is shaped like a sphere, a bit like the shape of the world. And there's another verse in the Bible found in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. And it's a verse you all probably know very well. And it says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That first Christmas, whenever Jesus came as the gift from heaven as a little baby born in the stable, he wasn't just a gift for me, and he wasn't just a gift for you, and he wasn't just a gift for people who go to church. 
This verse tells us that Jesus was a gift for the whole world. Jesus is God's gift of love to the whole world. And he is the gift that brings eternal life. That means life with God forever. And remember, we talked about the heroes and how God sent Jesus to save us by dying on the cross. It's because Jesus died on the cross that we can have eternal life. It's because Jesus died on the cross that we can go to heaven to be with God forever. Boys and girls, I just opened up my Terry's Chocolate Orange. And you know, it doesn't stay in one big sphere. It actually breaks into lots of little pieces. Now, that probably means I'm not meant to eat the Terry's Chocolate Orange all by myself. I'm probably not meant to eat the heroes and the roses all by myself either. I am meant to share them. And you know, boys and girls, we should share the message of Christmas with others because there are lots of people in this world who don't know the story of Christmas. They don't know that Jesus was born and they don't know that he was a gift from God, a gift of love for the whole world. They don't know that he came to be our hero, to save us from the punishment for our sin. And they don't know that the gift of Jesus is how God shared his love for us. And you know, as Christians, people who believe in God, we have something to celebrate. Like the celebration chocolates, we celebrate Christmas because Christmas is a time when we remember God's gift to us. The gift of his son, Jesus, who came to earth to be our hero, to save us from our sin. So maybe this week when you're in school, you could share the message of Christmas with one of their friends. Let them know that Christmas isn't just about presents. It isn't just about Christmas trees. It isn't just about Santa. Christmas is about the special gift that God sent his son, Jesus, his gift of love for the whole world who is our hero because he came to save us. And that is a reason to celebrate.
The shepherds weren't at home for the first Christmas. They were in the fields looking after their sheep. But while they were there, an angel of the Lord appeared and told them some amazing good news. The Bible says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. So although the shepherds weren't at home and were feeling afraid, they were the first to hear the amazing news about Jesus. Dear Father, we pray for our Sunday school and our children who we must get in to see and talk to about you. We ask that although the doors of the church are sometimes closed, that you would continue to bless our Christian outreach to them. As we worship you this Christmas season, we invite you into our family activities. Help us to glorify you during this busy time of year. Thank you, Father, for time spent with family. Thank you, Lord, for gifts at this time of year, and thank you most of all for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Just pray for the farmers at Christmas time as they work right through to keep food. Amen. Hello everyone. As you can see, I'm writing my Christmas cards to send to my family and friends. And I thank God for my family and friends. They are a blessing in my life and I don't know what I would do without them. So Merry Christmas everyone. We thank you for our schools, our teachers, classroom assistants and everyone who works in the school to help us learn and keep us safe each day. As we look forward to Christmas, we give thanks to God for our homes. May the Lord, the light of the world, bring peace, joy and hope to us all in our homes this Christmas and all the year through. Amen. Merry Christmas. Hi everyone. I'm so very thankful to be sitting here in the comfort of my own home. Been able to stay in touch with my family and friends. So I hope that you all have a fantastic Christmas and stay safe. May God bless you. Bye. Hello boys and girls. Hope you're all keeping well. Hope you've all settled in the school. And now you're all looking forward to the Christmas holidays. It's been a strange year. We've been told to keep our distance, wash our hands and keep safe. But there's one person that will keep us safe and that is the Lord Jesus. So if you are in trouble, pray to the Lord. If you are worried, pray to the Lord, and he will keep you safe. Hope to see you all soon, and have a happy Christmas. today for our church and new hall and look forward to using it for your glory. 
We thank you, God, for Jonathan, who works tirelessly to glorify your name in our church and communities. Please give him continued strength and energy to continue his good works in these challenging times. Thank God for providing ingredients and that we are able to make treats and cakes for people to enjoy. Thank God that we have kept us in and provided baked goods for the community. Well, that brings our online Sunday school to an end today. And thank you to all the teachers and to Sharon who coordinated all this behind the scenes. Thank you to everyone and to Sarah. I think that's an excuse maybe to go and open a box of roses or celebration. Uh, you have my permission. Just one or two quick announcements. Uh, on Saturday, yesterday, everyone was emailed out um, a craft activity with the Christmas wreath. And if you want to take a picture of that and send it in to me, I'll upload them all on Facebook. And in that way we can show our Sunday School work to other members of our church and wider community. Next Sunday in Drumliga we have a drive-in at 3pm. Uh, half an hour service with carols and readings and it'd be great to see you there. And Sharon has gifts uh, for all the Sunday School and Bible class and the preschoolers. They're getting a little gift as well and we want to leave no one out. So do come along next Sunday at 3 p.m. as we remember the birth of Jesus in word and song. It would be great to see the car park full. Now that's all weather permitting, so we'll have to just keep an eye on the weather. I think that's all I'm going to say at this stage, and just to say have a great week ahead, and uh, you can tuck into those chocolates now. God bless.